All right, this is a recap of the uh, white male in his 30s that was shot and killed by Austin police last weekend. Uh, I'm going to show you the blood stains. I'm going to show you the marks on the ground. I'm going to show you what the Austin media won't tell you. Get ready. One, two, three, go. Okay, there goes an ambulance. This is Julian Ray is live in Austin, Texas. It's Headquarters. And there has been a shooting. An Austin police officer has been shot, and an Austin police officer has shot in return. You don't really need people's opinions, you need video. That's why I'm here. I'm late as usual, but I'm here. It's more than I can say for a lot of y'all. Y'all out there filming? Y'all want to know anything that's going on? Or are you just going to sit back and wait for it to happen to you or your family like, like it did to me? Yeah. Learn from my lesson, don't wait. I was just talking, now I'm taking action. So basically, here's REI and book people. As you can see, um, the majority of people here are low melanin content on their skin, and they have higher bank accounts. So when I arrived on scene, I see the Austin Police Association mob boss, Ken, uh, Ken Cassidy, Corporal Ken Cassidy on the scene. I see the Office of Police Monitor, supposed to be an independent investigative unit, and APD brass, and a bunch of investigators, and so um, later on we're going to find out what happens, right? The police state's not going to lie to us, right? And they're not going to tell the media, and the media's going to give us the truth, right? We're going to find out. And many others. Um, there's just all sorts of stuff that the uh, police association, the public information office, and all these people are going to talk to the media. Uh, they're all going to give them lies. They're getting their story together now. That's why they're taking so long, and they won't release any kind of video, which is proof. Uh, so all these people are going to repeat lies, and you're going to only get independent sources from independent photojournalists like me. Unfortunately, that's just the way it goes. Um, there's got to be more ethics in journalism than what we see today. Way more. When I was at Baylor taking journalism class, uh, ethics was just uh, every other word. And um, now there's just no truth. Awesome, guys. How's it going?
track in our aquifer uh, below the nest in the lower right abdomen. Uh, the officer immediately turned fire, striking the suspect, uh, at which point folks, I believe, in this building here started calling uh, other folks to call 911, saying that an officer had been shooting at it. One of the calls said, stated that an officer had been shot. Uh, unfortunately, the suspect uh, was pronounced here by EMS sometime about 11 a.m. Our officer is uh, on, has had the bullet removed from his uh, FDA. He is conscious, he's alert, he's his arm on the suspect, although he is a right tail here to be in his 30s. We don't have any information on him, we don't have him identified yet, uh, and we hope to have him identified. Chief. Chief, does this mean that if a wealthy person, uh, a wealthy person in the West End here had done the same thing, would he have also, been, he or she also been shot? You know what? I think that's a ridiculous question. About the answer is yes. The answer is yes. I like it when the chief can't answer my questions. Neither can the uh, director of the OPM. Liars usually can't. They need time to come up with their lies. So that's the uh, difference between media and independent media right there. Tough questions or give us a standard answer. So Chief says it's a ridiculous question if uh, a rich person had, had uh, not given their hands up um, and it had been armed, which we have 50 guns to one person here in Texas, so every rich person has a stockpile. Trust me. So it's not a ridiculous question, and when it happens, I'll post this video again. And you guys can eat those words, Chief, and all the rest of you. What happened here the other night? That's what I want to know. What happened here in such a quiet, wealthy, affluent neighborhood? An entertainment area where people party and have fun. What happened that ended up getting a man, one, two men shot and one of them's dead? One of them was in uniform and he lived. He instantly started shooting. What happened? Whatever happened to retreat to your car and request backup? Whatever happened to capture uh, evidence and, and find the person later with a warrant once you get enough evidence? Whatever happened to that? I don't know. Just thoughts. I'm not saying I have the answers. They're just thoughts. Today they're doing construction over here. Giant hole in the ground. Another condo. There's Frank and Andrew's pizzeria. That's where the shooting was, right in front of there. Right behind huts. Behind favorite liquor, beer, and wine here. And the huts, hamburgers. This is brand new bar. It's not even open yet. Got a security camera right there. My vision seems to be operational. You're looking at freaking Angie's parking lot here. 
It's uh, one of the best pizzas in town. This is where our stuff was going down. We're here to look for uh, chalk outlines, basically. Got some stains here. Very sad. Oil. The other one is blood. I know blood. My dog died like that. Cop just shot him within seconds for barking. Dog didn't do shit to him. Rich people live over here. Rich people party and their kids party over here. So some of this looks like um, just markings for line utilities. That's why I was confused. But these markings, these green markings, don't mean anything. Still coming over here. So there's markings from here all the way over to where he died. Over there. We're only talking about. I don't know. It looks like it all happened pretty close together in the back next to this liquor store. I don't see any chalk outlines but they they had a lot of vehicles over here so I feel that they had a body over here um, they said they had an unidentified white male and with these markings I don't think they're anything Yeah, here they are. These are the markings. Six, ten, eight. I'm not sure what all these markings mean. Here's the blood right here. This is the blood where the person died. You can see it's the stains in the ground. That's where the person died. That this is all stained. This whole area. Compact car number 20. So you got these uh, markings. There's lots of markings around here. I'm not sure what they all mean. Maybe someone that studies police bullshit can uh, tell me. Yeah, that's where the man fell down and died. That's where he was shot to death. The story is he shot first, but um, as far as I know, the police haven't released the video they were supposed to release today. This is where all the scuffles and whatnot happened, I'm sure. Yeah, so that's where the guy died right here. You wanted to know? Now you know. This is where he died. Frank and Angie's right here. Get out of my shadow. Man died right here. In front of Frank and Angie's. Behind huts, behind the liquor store. Across from the concrete cowboy. But I'm thinking he shot this direction. That it would have gone over here. I'm thinking he shot over towards this direction. Um, he was coming from the street, encountered the person, shot back. And, but it is a deadly wound. Very violent and deadly. This was a man who bled and died. Look at how big that is. We've got a police line here. Line down here behind uh, the camera. Not sure why. Welcome to 
huts. Watch out. Could get real. Could get real ugly real fast. Carry your gun on your hip for all the world to know. Namaste, y'all. Be safe. Film the police.